What's going on? We back with the boxing clinic and more. Y'all you talk more than boxing. And uh, I was gonna do this video yesterday, but I was like, let me wait till Friday, okay? Then I may do a breakdown of the Jags and the Kansas City Chiefs this weekend. This is own separate video, but if you love the NFL, you love talking foosball in my water boy mama voice. Uh, make sure you check us out tonight around between 9 30, 10 30 Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the invite up. Make sure you hit the uh, notification uh, next to the subscribe button so you get the invite. We're going to do our NFL uh, weekly talk show. Okay. We're going to review last week, preview this week. Um, we missed last week because the internet, uh, internet cut out, but we'll still talk about the picks and stuff of that nature. Chop up a little fantasy, but um, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get that notification. And also check out our ever so growing grow, uh, playlist to kind of take away some of our, uh, kind of categorize our content, excuse me. Um, Tyreek uh, Hill and um, Jalen Ramsey got into a war, a war of words. Now, we know Sassy Ramsey, you know, one of the sassiest dudes that ever played a game, is probably the best cornerback right now, okay? I think him and Xavier Rose was close last year. Xavier Rose falling off a little bit this year. They defense front end and back end of Minnesota not playing that well. But I believe Mike Zimmer will get it right at some point, okay? Hopefully it's not too late for them, for their sake. But Ramsey and the Jaguars are doing well this season. Blake Boyle's balling except for the, uh, the, the Tennessee game, I think, uh, where they lost. Uh, he ain't had Leonard Fournette. He a fantasy stud, but um, he been throwing that thing around, threw that thing around New England. A lot of good things. Their defense is still, still really, really good, probably the best defense top to bottom. In the league, AJ Boy, Jalen Ramsey, they going against what well, the number one scoring defense Jaguars going against the number one scoring offense in the Kansas City Chiefs. Gonna be a very very interesting matchup for Patrick Mahomes. Um, I don't think he's seen a defense like this. I think he's seen pass rushers like this before in Von Miller and Bradley Chubbs. I don't think he's seen overall defense like this. Man, Talvin Smith can run. I mean, Miles Jack can run. I mean, some of their defensive linemen. I think got Fowler that can run. Uh, I think Calais might be healthy. They got an overall good defense. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how Patrick Mahomes passes this lit in the test. But I think the Chiefs are at home, so that should be a good that should be a good look. All right, but the defense is weak, so uh, we're gonna see, man. Patrick Mahomes, you know, he do it this week. He he's the absolute truth, okay? Um, and put up points on this Jaguars defense, even with Brady cutting this year. But thing about Brady is he didn't have Edelman and Gordon and all the other weapons he need, but. Um, to the topic, uh, you know, Tyreek Hill kind of started this, okay? So we can't put it on sassy Jalen Ramsey this time. Tyreek Hill, you know, was saying that, uh, you know, he kind of was like, you know, you know, Ramsey, all right, you know, basically he ain't nothing special or whatever it may be. And he was like, yeah, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't worried about him. That's kind of how I took. And Jalen Ramsey, you know, he caught wind of that. And then he went off on Tyreek Hill. You know, he said he ain't nothing but a kick return specialist. He made all pro uh, in the first two years as a kick return specialist. Let's get that right. Not as a receiver, as a kick return specialist, okay? He said, I made all pro in the Pro Bowl as uh, at my position as a cornerback, not a kick return specialist. So I think this is a good matchup, to be honest, man. But I don't know how much you will see Jalen Ramsey on Tyreek Hill. Andy Reid is very, very smart about how he approaches and get matchups. Okay, you can see Tyreek Hill lining up in the backfield more coming to flex out. I, I really doubt that you probably see Jalen Ramsey on Hill like 50% of the snaps. I don't even think it would be 50% of the snaps. Hill likes to line up in the backfield, line up in the slot a lot. So I, I would doubt that Jalen Ramsey will follow Tyreek Hill, okay? Unless Hill lines up outside on the hashes, then you'll see that. But that's the still the tough matchup. I still would favor Jalen Ramsey. I know smaller receivers and smaller get you guys, you guys get bigger corners a problem. But Jalen Ramsey technique is so good. His speed is really, really good as well. And um, they're going to have to um, – they were going to do a lot of special things with Hill this week. It's about matchups. They're going to probably want to get him on A.J. Boye or the third corner. They're going to put him in motion so you can't jam him. They're going to do pick plays. They're going to put him in the backfield, flex him out to the slot. Yeah, a lot of times you ain't going to see Ramsey on him, man. He played too many different positions on the field to get Ramsey on him. Now, if you see him and Ramsey line up on the outside, that's that's going to be a rarity. If they're on the outside, I'm favoring Jalen Ramsey, okay? Tyreek Hill got some speed. Maybe he get off the line and run by Ramsey and get some deep a deep ball or two. That could happen, you know what I'm saying? But um, Ramsey's technique at the line of scrimmage is so good. His hand placement, his leverage, he knows how to play. 
He knows his technique is always in position. Hill got devastating speed. That is true. He faster than Jalen Ramsey. Um, but like I say, a lot of the times you're going to get Hill on other p p people. You might get Hill on a linebacker or you might get Hill running through a zone with Patrick Mahomes, you know, uh, improvising, buying time and Hill getting through coverage as the coverage is blown and making plays. So every time my, my point is this, every time you see Tyreek Hill or they'll make a big play, don't 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 be like, oh, it's on Jalen Ramsey. No, because they put this dude in multiple positions. He's an excellent player. He's a, he's probably the most um he probably the most iconic weapon right now, just weapon, as far as a Gigi Gadget weapon guy. I mean, you could put Kamara in that in that uh in that you know bracket, but Kamara more is a running back if anything. Tyreek Hill was a running back coming in, but he's more of a receiver slash running back specialist. Okay, um, but I think I think it's gonna be a rarity that you see Hill on on Ramsey a lot this game. I think it's gonna be a big big rarity. Okay, and that's my opinion, man. Um, I think it's going to be an excellent game. Like I said, I might do a prediction video Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. But I think it's going to be a big, big rarity that you see these two match up on each other. Um, if they do, I favor Jalen Ramsey because I believe in his technique. I believe that he's sound. He's, he got his fundamentals. And he is the best corner in the league, in my opinion. It's a lot of good ones. But I think he's grown to be the best corner. You talk about Marcus Peters. You know, Peters is a good corner as well. But he takes too many chances and risks. That's what makes him Marcus Peters. Jalen Ramsey ain't going to take that risk. Jalen Ramsey is fundamentally sound. His technique is good. And, and he's going to play with his eyes and play with his instincts. He ain't going to take no unnecessary risks and fuck around and get burned. You know, that can happen with Peters, with a guy like Peters that like to take chances. Ball hogs. That can happen versus an older corner like Tlaib because of his speed. That can happen to certain corners. But corners that play with technique, leverage, hands, hand placement, and they know how to play it, you know, I favor Jalen Ramsey heavy if they line up one-on-one -on -one with each other out there. You know, now if you tell me it's one-on-one -on -one with no help over the top or just one-on-one -on -one off a of blitz and it's Ramsey and, and Tyreek Hill, I still will favor Jalen Ramsey, but i tell you this right now. If Tyreek Hill get off the line in enough time and that pass rush don't get there, Tyreek Hill going to burn him. You know, but I expect Tyreek Hill to have a good game, but I don't think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to let Tyreek Hill beat them. I think if you think in fantasy, you're probably more likely to think Travis Kelsey to have a good game. I don't know what Sammy Watkins' health is. They're going to try to stop uh, Tyreek Hill, okay? And for Tyreek Hill, I think for him to have a lot of success this game, he's got to come on screens, coming out the backfield, uh, coming off bubble screens, short stuff, okay? But eventually he's going to have to stretch the field, and that can't happen. But with that pass rush, it's going to be tough for them to stretch that field on that Jaguar defense. But I'm telling you, you know, Jalen Ramsey is the absolute truth. Tyreek Hill will not abuse Jalen Ramsey one-on-one -on -one out there in zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverage, whatever you want to say. They're not going to abuse him. You know, Tyreek Hill put a, put a mark on his chest, but the difference is also, is the difference is is asterisk here, okay? My asterisk is this, before I get off the horn. The asterisk is this, okay? Patrick Mahomes can improvise, okay? He can be on some Russell Wilson Houdini shit, okay? If he started to run that ball and get your first down, then the coverage is going to start peaking in the back. Or if he start, you know, getting out on the edge and making throws and improvising and, 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 and making the play, um, extend the, extending the play, then all best is off. Then that means Tyreek Hill is going to be running through zones. He's going to be uh, running by man coverage. going to be some blown coverage in the back trying to pick up Patrick Mahomes. And his Patrick Mahomes brings a different dynamic than Alex Smith did. Patrick Mahomes got a cannon on his arm, okay? He got a cannon. And he can out-throw coverage, and Tyree Hill can outrun coverage. So that's your asterisk right now. Now, if Hill come out there and he does towards Jalen Ramsey, and they do play one-on-one, -on -one, just know I put the asterisk on there. You know, Mahomes' ability to stretch plays, improvise in the pocket, extend plays, and his running ability is going, especially if they play zone, it's going to start dragging eyes towards him, okay? And he's going to be able to make some plays over the top. And as soon as you look back in the backfield, see if it's play action, look, see if he extending the play. You know, then you get those big plays, but also look for Kareem Hunt to have a big game. Jacksonville ain't always been, well, since they got this new front together, they ain't always been that best against the run. So I look for him to have a big game, but I think Ramsey's going to dominate this matchup, in my opinion, if they line up versus each other. But I don't see them lining up versus each other 50% of the plays. I think more like 20, 30% of the plays you see Hill on Ramsey. I don't think Ramsey's going to shadow Hill. Play too many different positions, but it's the Boston Clinic of more. Um, yeah, we talk football. And don't forget tonight, uh, we're doing a football live show 
week uh, four review, first quarter review, week five preview, and we also did a power, we also did a power ranking as well. So check that out as well for the first quarter. Um, shout out to everybody supporting doing what we do. If you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is there as well. If not, do me one better. Share the video. Share the content with all your people that talk football. Tell them about the live show we're doing tonight at 9.30, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, right around that start time. I put an invitation up. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'll do some good work over there. We gone.